Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be discussing what battery cells, 18650 battery cells, are in a Dyson V7. This precise model is going to be the HH11, that is the V7 triggered vacuum cleaner here. I've already taken it apart, but this is something to keep in mind. I'll show you real quickly. If you are looking to scrap and recycle 18650 cells, from Dyson vacuums. I know obviously power tools are the big thing right now, but people are forgetting that these Dyson vacuums also have great cells with fast discharge, being able to be recycled for electric bike battery packs, etc. Now, if you are looking to recycle these battery packs, it's pretty simple. One screw at the top pulls down from the motor. I actually found this battery pack dumpster diving, and I, of course, will be testing these cells after I take apart the pack on my charger here to find out the milliamps per cell, etc. But after the battery pack is dropped down from the unit, on this side right here, you have a small little T-Torx screw, which is right over here. And then there's a little bit of prying because there's some prongs there, 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 and on the sides there and there. And you will pull that apart. Of course, you will have to rip off the charger port connections here, which are located the black and white wires here. Here we have this and we have the little management system, the charging prongs that go up into the unit here to connect to your motor right there. And let's go ahead and look at the cells here. I will try to have the website linked in the description box below that states the milliamps per cell. If not, if someone could link that, that would be awesome. It's a website directory that says every cell in the milliamps, etc. But these are LG cells. There is the top portion of the LG number. And then let's get that lower number below here as well. All right, so I went ahead and took one out. And let's go ahead and look at the full number here. There is the bottom one there as well. Just with a little QR code, uh, you can scan that. Unfortunately, it doesn't say anything about the milliamps, but on the bottom, we do have some information here because we know where these cells are coming from. So of course, this is their six pack cell, of course, 21.6 volts, 2000 milliamp, 44 WH. I'm not entirely sure if 2000 milliamps means that each one of these are 2000 milliamps or the whole pack, which doesn't make sense. So my guesstimation is this is a 2000 milliamp cell, but the total is 44 WH. Well, now the only problem with the cell pack here is right in the middle, there was this like almost like JB weld that was connecting the two together. So there was three on one side, two in the middle, and then one on the very end, the two right here in the plastic pack. Again, it was almost like this JB Weld stuff. Now, unfortunately, that has ripped off the cover. You guys might go ahead and comment down below if that's just a scrap cell or not. I think we could just wrap that with some electrical tape, but you definitely don't want to be shorting that out and have that exposed. The cover does protect it. It's not pierced at all, just the cover has flipped up a little electrical tape should be able to save that cell. But please comment below. As you can see there, just the cover has literally been torn off because of that JB Weld as I was trying to remove those two cells. The other four cells are looking absolutely fantastic. There's no visible damage on this, and the reason why people do get rid of these packs, obviously, just like battery-powered tool packs, they start to perform 80%, 70%, or they just lose charge altogether, not being able to charge, meaning that there is one or two bad cells in the bunch. It depends upon how large your battery pack is. I'm gonna do a little bit more research before I do try to wrap these and put them on the charger, but these ones I've cleaned off the tops and bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and stick them on the charger and we'll get back to you with precise milliamps. All right, after putting them on my testing charger and doing a full cycle, which takes many hours, depends on I have come up with these numbers here. Now my charger said 4.2 volts each, but after I test them with a multimeter, they all came in at 4.15 volts. And this is the milliamp testing. So I have them labeled here and I marked them down. And so there is cell number one, 1968, 1974, 2033. And this one came in at 2036. 
I got the other two on the charger right now. And if you, again, are interested, I will link this tester in the description box below. I actually have two of these, and I'll try to link the multimeter as well. Now, we do need to test these cells after a few days to see if they are holding the 4.15 or if they are slipping. Now, if they have slipped significantly, then we'll go ahead and either recycle them or put them off for maybe a little side project. Uh, but if they're holding, like let's say after a couple days, these drop to 4.12, then I'm okay with that. But we don't want them dropping too much. Now, I do not know for a fact if this Dyson V7 battery, I found it pleat together. But the only reason why you would take a battery pack out and put it by the dumpsters is because what these happen, they don't perform to what they would be if you purchase the battery pack brand new. So according to my tester and according to the bottom of the Dyson battery pack, these are 2000 milliamp batteries by LG. Six cells with a total of 44 WH, 21.6 volts. I was pretty impressed with the battery pack, the way it was put together, even with some nice double stick foam pads here with the other side not even exposed yet. So you could reuse these on another pack if you wanted to, if you're building your own pack. I am disappointed though with the two cells that have the skins ripped off, but I'm monitoring them closely. I wrapped them with electrical tape right here so there's no metal on metal exposed. Factories that repurpose 18650 cells, they actually take the skins off, put their own skins on. You do have to be careful about that, purchasing cells on certain websites. But as I am testing these, they are very lukewarm, which is nice, warm, but not over the top warm, not hot. You can tell they're getting some current through them. Same thing with those four cells as well. So after I test these, I'm gonna determine, of course, after a few days, if there's any leakage in the voltage, et cetera. And again, I will link the parts and that website for the discharge rate, et cetera, of all the cells that will be below again. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hit that thumbs up button if you've determined if you even want to get into Dyson vacuum battery packs or if you wanna stay put with building repurposed cells from power tools. You guys have a great day and subscribe on your way out. We'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos. Continue to watch. We'll see you soon.